Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Seekers Plus, and I am back with a beginner's tip for best success with your Curio machine. Actually, this applies for all Silhouette machines. It is the number one issue, even today, as I record this, and from what we've seen, it's going to be the number one issue for years to come, and that is blade installation. I cannot tell you thousands and thousands of times how many times people have told me their blade is installed properly, and in reality, it really is not. It is very easy to look at and to diagnose when a blade is not installed properly. And usually when a user is very quick to say it's installed and they stomp their foot and say it's in right, that usually indicates to us that it's not. Um, in most cases, it is, makes troubleshooting very difficult. Blade installation is the number one issue we see and it is also the very, very first place to start when anyone is experiencing cut issues. Now, I would love to say that this started in 2016 when the Cameo 3 was released with the first auto blade. While we saw a lot of posts and issues with the users and their blades during that time, it really is something that affects all machines. I have seen so many Cameo 1 and Cameo 2 blades that have not been installed properly and the number one thing that it hurts is your cut success. So I wanna take a close look and show you exactly how to install the blade in the Curio 2. Now, this will also apply for all of the Silhouette machines that use the auto blade as well. And the number one thing is not having the blade pushed down far enough in the housing and locked in place. It's very simple, it's very easy to diagnose, and even if you think your blade is installed properly, just double check. It will save you so much time, frustration, and materials in the long run just to double check on your blade. It happens to us all. So I'm gonna zoom the camera in here and we're going to take a look at the installation on the blade. Now this is your housing on your Curio 2. The housing is the same, on tool one as the Cameo 4 and the Portrait 3. So all of these tips would apply to that machine as well. The Cameo 5 also has a tool housing that looks very, very similar to this. It can use almost all of the same tools, but the Curio 2 has a few additional ones, which I will have covered in later videos once those are available. So when you first get your machine, your tool housings, if you have a dual carriage, is going to be closed. It is very simple. You're going to pull the locking tab out on the front of the machine, and then you're going to grab your auto blade, and this works for all blades that you would be installing. I'm going to carefully slide this in. When I slide it in, I'm going to push down on the housing. You want to make sure that the lip of the blade is flush with the housing. It needs to be completely in there. On some of the machines, because the housing is built out of plastic, just in manufacturing, you may need to push that down a little bit into that housing to get it to go in. It was very easy in this Curio 2. So you push down, you're going to lift up carefully on the front of the housing, and you're going to push that in there. When you do that, these little locking, little locking grippers are going to grab that blade. You can see that there is absolutely no gap. Now, if you install the blade incorrectly, we see this all the time, this is incorrect. This is incorrect, that's correct. This is incorrect, and this is incorrect. So, if you do not have the locking tab pushed in, when you go to cut, your blade is going to move up and down. In the Curio 2, it moves a little bit more freely than on other machines. But the number one we thing we see when a blade is installed incorrectly is the cuts are too deep and it gets stuck in the mat. Why? It seems counterintuitive, except that your tool housing is trying its hardest for the bottom of that blade to reach your materials. So if your blade is up here, when it's installed, it's going to try as hard as it can to push that blade down. It also will not adjust in the adjustment holes properly. So to recap, to install your blade, you're going to pull the locking cap out, 
push your blade down in, lift up on the front of the housing and push the lock in on the front to completely secure your blade in place. The number one issue, but also the easiest thing to fix. Now, if you're still with me, you may be wondering, why did I take so much time to explain how to install the blade? I cannot tell you how many hours over the years since I started teaching in 2016 that I have spent either asking for blade photos installed in your machine. I even have a very specific way to ask about the blade installed in the machine because I get a lot of people who show me a photo like this. And this only tells me what blade you're using. I even had myself shirts that said, check your blade that I have worn to events because it is the number one cut issue. And if it is not corrected, you will continue to have inconsistent cuts until you finally solve the problem. You can try putting a Band-Aid on things and it might work once, it might work twice, but it doesn't fix the problem. We can usually get that problem fixed in very in a few seconds usually by looking at a photo when we request it on the Facebook group. So this comes from hours and hours and years of troubleshooting with users. So it is a very important tip. And my goal is to help you be successful with your machine. There is no point in having a machine that is not working properly for you. In almost all cases of issues that we troubleshoot, we can get the user up and cutting if they are willing to troubleshoot with us. And the very first step is taking a look at the blade. So I hope these tips have helped you with the success of your machine, no matter which Silhouette model machine you have. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications of future content. Have a great day.